All right, Victorum Gaming fans and SPQR fans, we are back and we're kicking off a new trilogy here of uh, scenario review videos and we're going to go over to Germania. So their three scenarios for the game are Wolves at the Gates, Forest, Fight, and The Trees Are Alive. And we're going to start this first video off here with Wolves at the Gates. So, um, and basically these, a lot of these videos are or these scenarios for them are going to be some sort of ambush of some kind and mainly with uh, some Roman victims here. But um, for the scenario, so both players have equal Denarii warbands as normal. The enemy is the defender, German players the attacker. Germans do have a slightly smaller deployment zone here. Um, a central road should run across the center of the table, linking the two table edges of the players. The terrain either side of the road should be dense woodland with as many trees as you have in your collection. The defending player may place uh, additional terrain across the road at any one point in his deployment zone to represent him blocking the easy route to the settlement. This could be a fence line, foliage, or upturned wagons. The defending player deploys all their models first, and then the German player deploys all their models. So this is going to be a rough one. Also, the German player has the first phase. So the German player will get all kinds of information here, seeing how the defender is set up, and uh, from there also seeing... Um, uh, or basically getting to uh, have the first turn guaranteed so they can uh, set themselves up in an, as much of an advantageous position as possible. And again, looking at the board here. So the defender does have about half the board to deploy in, and the Germans are going to be 18 inches away. But uh, that being said, um, the Germans, again, will have the first turn here. So they can certainly get close. And, um, you know, as the defender, you probably don't want to deploy right on the line because uh, an 18-inch charge is theoretically possible with, uh, like, using a horn and stuff right away uh, to get that extra activation. Um, so really, you probably want to stay back a little bit further, if at all possible, make the Germans work towards you. And then as far as scenario special rules, there's nothing there. And so victory is achieved. Basically, if the Germanic player manages to move at least half his units, round it down off the road on the attacker's table edge, he will claim victory. If the attacking player stops this happening, he will claim victory. So uh, it's a little bit unclear here by what they mean off the road, but I would imagine off the... Or actually, no, it does say that, sorry. Um, off the road on the attacker's table edge, um, he'll claim victory. So, um, and basically that being said, you can still use the terrain to your advantage. You just have to make it off the road uh, once you get to the defender's edge. So, um, and especially with uh, the recommended heavy uh, foresting here, so that can definitely make it a little bit difficult to catch up to um, the Germans potentially just because they tend to have lots and lots of... Um, uh, skirmish type units, which will, and warband type units, which will um, do very well in large numbers, but also um, possibility of having lots of smaller units as well, and just really getting a whole lot of them um, through the defender's lines and then into basically uh, mad dash for the uh, the table edge right where the the road is. So, um, and again, half rounded down. So this can be a little bit tricky just because obviously. Uh, Germans uh, and Gauls and things like that are good at having lots of units, so um, if you try that approach, certainly you'll have to get more off the board, um, but, uh, you know, if you go for the smaller, maybe a little bit more elite route, or depending on the size of the game, too, that can be a little bit tougher, so the defender is basically going to be trying to... Um, knock out any like weak units uh, that might come across or try and tie up and slow down the uh, the Germans as much as possible. Germans again will have that first turn so um, depending on what the enemy has or the defender has um, you know it's going to be a bit of a mad dash to um, get going and you might even get the second turn too which will give you um, some really solid opportunity to get um, mixed in with the defender and if not past them in some cases as well. Um, so Germans might want to try and, um, depending on, again, what they have, sort of um, tie up some of the defender's best units and then uh, allow their other smaller, maybe weaker units um, to just slip by and try and avoid fights if uh, at all possible. And again, um, really just sort of mess up and break up the uh, the defender's uh, defensive plan. So again, being able to see how the defender is set up, first of all, um, you know, the defender could uh, theoretically deploy right up on their edge and their line, the front line, and um, spread out as much as possible to really not give any gaps for the Germans to go through. So again, game size will 
make a difference here and all kinds of other things considered with terrain and stuff as well. And again, depending on who you're uh, playing against, uh, against the defender, so uh, lots of things could be considered there. So and if the defender also has a kind of like a horde army, it's going to be tough to really sneak past them, so you're going to have to really fight past them. But a smaller, more elite army, you might be able to, again, sort of uh, pin some in place and then let your weaker units escape and hope that will you know be enough so it's a really interesting scenario it's uh, somewhat kill them all but uh, really with a specific requirement so um, on top of that and again really uh, in in some ways a, a great advantage to the German players so um, but uh, you know you just because you get the first turn doesn't mean you're going to get the second turn. So if the if you get a little bit too greedy as the Germans on your first turn, you might be in a bad position depending on what the enemy has to sort of counterattack you with um, in uh, turn two and so on. But um, nonetheless, really interesting little scenario. So kind of like a um, almost a Tutuborger uh, Vol uh, forest uh, scenario here. I think that one actually comes next though, a little bit more specifically. But nonetheless, Wolves at the Gates is pretty cool. So, um, and again, the Germans as the uh, attacker here. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed our little look at this. And if you could, drop us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And then stay tuned for more.